Seafaring is a job that most Belizeans do not pursue, perhaps because of the demands of being away from home for long periods of time. Seafarers depend on the high seas and oceans to transport goods from one port to another, or in the case of fishermen, to bring in the last catch after a few days away from home. Today, in tandem with the International Day for Seafarers, which was observed on Saturday, Imarbe held an expo at Keystone Building on Newtown Barracks to educate people on the different aspects of this fledgling industry for Belize. Locally, the Belize Fisheries Department is the body that controls how our local commercial seafarers operate. Sometimes we, we, the public tends to confuse us with the cooperative which deals with the exportation of the cons, but we are in the management level, okay. um, which um, the department usually is the, the, the body that advises the, the government with, with um, comes to regulations and um, implementation of different mechanisms for our fisheries um, sector. We do boat to boat or tweet with fishermen and there we can tell them, you know what, it, uh, people who spend their, their life at sea, talking to them about their day-to-day -day, um, uh, living out at sea and um, just bringing them across other sectors that also um, depend on, rely on the ocean as well. Of course, there are several different categories of seafarers. Cleopatra Cuevas outlined for us that the port of Big Creek, which she manages, is a bulk and container terminal facility through which Belize ships most of its primary products like sugar, citrus, bananas, grains, and crude oil. She shared that there are Belizean seafarers who travel with their shipment through Central America from that port. Within our port facility, we have our what we call our marine department, which houses two tugs, which is manned by certified crude, our seafarers, of course. These guys are responsible for bringing all ships to berth safely along with our pilots and they also do transshipment lines between Guatemala and Honduras. So our guys know what it is to travel international waters weekly, going to pick up cargo between Belize and Honduras, back to Belize. But not very many Belizeans are employed aboard ships that sail the high seas. But seafaring is an industry that could possibly prepare you for a better financial stability in your later years. Edmund Steen is the seafarers manager at the International Merchant Marine Registry of Belize, Imarbe. He told News 5 today that the seafaring industry is in its infancy in Belize and there is a lot of room for employment and growth. Imarbe has vacancies, Port Authority is actually ruffling a, a, a job and they have a, a additional vacancies. The Coast Guard have some scholarship opportunities. The fact that we've signed on to so many great maritime conventions and the ability for us to open maritime training centers in the future is one of the, the industries that I believe Belize should jump on. Um, there's a de deficiency of about 100,000 seafarers globally and Belize can train up our people to, to make up a part of that. And Imarbe, uh, which I am the seafarers manager for Imarbe, we, we actually have a thousand ships. So if we have personnel in Belize trained, we could make it mandatory for persons to work on board our ships and have, open a whole new access for, for resources. On a media tour aboard the Caribbean Princess on Wednesday, Captain Tim Springer shared that one of the big sacrifices seafarers have to make is to give up time with family and friends. But staying assured that the job is as rewarding as it is demanding. It's just like you're sailing at sea, but you're stopping at many ports all over the world. So you're getting an opportunity to tour the world basically for free. You know, so there's, there's always a trade-off in whatever you do. If you go and join the military, if you go and join the Coast Guard, you know, you're always sent out. But there are, there are tours that you sign up for. So I, I could basically sign up for just working for three months or two months, or you know, and so you could do a rotation. So it depends on the individual. Of course, if you're an officer and you're, you're, if you're a master, then you're expected to take care of the ship. So in those capacities, of course, you're asked to stay on the ship longer, but you also have a longer break. Because if I work for six months, I'm home for six months. So you could look at it in that way, you know, I mean, that whatever time, whatever tour you work, you get the reciprocal yeah. in rest. Another very relevant factor to consider in all of this is the salary and benefits. Because we signed on to the Maritime Labor Convention, which have really increased the securities for persons working on board ships, um, you have to be repatriated for free, you have to be fed every day, you have to be housed, you have to have medical e expenses covered, you have to have insurances, and they have to fly you back home. So you don't have to spend no money. 
when working on board a ship, if you don't want to. Of course, if you're touring around and you want to go and splurge, you could do that. The, the seafaring wages are very are much better than we than we get paid in Belize. And if, if you're working for um, companies like American companies or other, other companies that use the, the wages from the country of their origin, yes. then of course it, it's much it's much more you, got, you, you, you can you can be able to collect, right? Imarbe is currently working on getting independently audited in order that it will be able to open maritime training centers locally and get Belizeans on board ships to work. That process should be ready to start within a year or so. But if you wanted to give it a try before then, Imarbe has connections to other shipping companies that could take you on and train you anytime. Reporting for News 5, I'm Marion Ali.